In this video, we're going to talk about the packaging for your chosen products. This is the bottle, the jar, the wrapping, anything you want to package it in to ship. So for example, for my cold press test soap and shampoo and conditioner bars and even bath bombs after testing, I decided to use biodegradable shrink wrap, a bit like that. This involves putting them in the biolefin film and then using the shrink wrap cutter to seal the edges. And if you get any left over, you can either keep that to do more bars later or throw it away if it's too small. And then you end up with something like this, a little bag. And then you use a heat gun um, to seal that. And then it's nice and sealed. And then that'll keep your bar nice and fresh. I decided this after testing my soaps with no packaging, with paper packaging, in cardboard boxes and even wrapped in material. The best and most long lasting results in terms of discoloration, scent longevity and shrinkage were to have it shrink wrapped. Note that this is for my particular formula, you may find yours is different. If you want to know more about the biolefin and my reasoning behind it and my choice, you can read the blog post that I wrote a while back and that will be linked below. I then decided to have a front and back label with my branding with required information. Depending on the product you have, you may find that this method works well for you, or you may require a box or a jar, bottles or paper. Whatever you decide, you need to use that for stability testing to be discussed in the next video. As part of stability testing, it is your responsibility to check for adverse reactions with the packaging. You can use DIY options such as printing your own cardboard bands or boxes, buying in from professional print companies, buying bulk lots of bottles and jars and labelling ready for your choice, but decide carefully and ensure that it can be repurchased. As tempting as places like AliExpress are for bottles etc, I do find that sometimes you buy something and then one day it will just disappear and that leaves you a bit stuck. If you want something truly unique, then there are bottle manufacturing companies who will create your own designs though you'll need to budget for it because that's not a cheap option. <laughs> My advice would be to start with something inexpensive and easily purchasable from a local company. You also want to consider how and where the customer will be using the product. For example, glass bottles and jars are lovely for skincare, but when used on a dresser or similar. But putting body scrub in a glass jar while people be using in the shower or bath, becoming wet and slippery, the possibility of it being dropped and smashed is probably not the great idea. You might also think about whether the ingredients in your product are light sensitive and require an opaque container or an amber bottle such as this to protect them from UV. But will the container last? Biodegradable cardboard containers are great for some products, but they won't last on a shelf in the shower. So I'd use those for something like deodorant or powders that aren't going to get wet. You also need to think about your ability to label them. Do you want to print directly on the bottle or the jar? Or do you want to engrave something with such a laser engraver? Or do you want to label them all by hand? Consider your budget when choosing. Being able to print your own labels is very cost effective and much simpler if you need to change anything rather than investing in a bulk amount when you start out and then needing to change something. This is before you even use them all up and is a common mistake because ingredients can change, suppliers can change and you may need to change something. Here are some suggestions for places to purchase your packaging from. Ampula is quite popular. It's got jars and bottles for both cosmetic and catering and industrial use. So you can generally find what you need there for good prices and you can order as many as you like. Then we have caps and jars. Again, lots of different types of bottles and jars in decent quantities for a decent price. World of Bottles is very similar, again lots of jars and different types of bottles, so very good for lotions and body butters and sprays and things like that. You'll also find that your cosmetic ingredient suppliers, such as here at Naturally Balmy, you'll find lots of different containers for your finished products. They've got quite a good selection on their website for reasonable prices as do supplies for candles and there are many other 
suppliers that I could name, but just take a look at your ingredient suppliers because most likely they'll have a packaging and containers section. Then there's places like HCP Packaging who have stock packaging that you can purchase there and then, and they will also help you design your own. Note that I've not used them myself, but they do seem to have this nice custom section which shows their previous work, so you can see the kind of thing that they can do for you. And then if you want more biodegradable packaging, then there's these nice deodorant containers on Nutley's Kitchen, and some lip balm containers and things like this, which you can purchase. Then I've got Berlin Packaging, again, lots of different options. This isn't an exhaustive list, there's obviously plenty of other options online, but hopefully these will give you a good starting point to see what kind of packaging you want for your product, and then you can just search around and see what you can find. That's it for this video. In the next video, we'll take our finished packaged products and do some stability testing. For a printable version of this script, please see the Patreon link below. Thanks to everyone watching this series, my patrons and my VOP patrons listed here, and I'll see you in the next one.